we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section differential equations and the problem is on global solution of a given differential equation a solution is a global solution if it exists for all t greater than 0 and this question has appeared in CSIR in national eligibility test held on 26th November 2020 and it is from the section B. The problem is let y not greater than 0, z not greater than 0 and alpha greater than 1. Consider the following differential equations. The first differential equation is denoted by bracket star and it is given by dy by dt is equal to y power alpha for t greater than 0, y at 0 is y suffix 0. And the second differential equation is denoted by the double star and it is given by dz by dt is equal to minus z power alpha for t greater than 0 and z at 0 is z naught. We say that the solution to a differential equation exists globally if it exists for all t greater than 0. Which of the following statement is true? Options. First option, both star and double star have global solution. Option 2, none of star and double star have global solutions. Option 3, there exists a global solution for star and there exists a t less than infinity that is there exists a finite t such that limit t tends to capital T of mod z t is equal to plus infinity. Option 4, there exists a global solution for double star and there exists a t, a finite t such that limit t tends to t of mod y t is equal to plus infinity. We recall the definition what is given in this question for the global solution. A solution of a differential equation is said to be a global solution if it exists for all t greater than 0. With this definition, let us get into the solution of the problem. First, we take the equation given by star that is dy by dt is equal to y power alpha for t greater than 0 y at 0 is equal to y naught. Now, separating the variables and integrating, we get, if you separate 1 by y power alpha into dy by dt is equal to 1 and integrating integral 1 by y power alpha dy is equal to integral dt plus c where c is the constant of integration and integrating y to the power of minus alpha integrated with respect to y will give you y to the power of minus alpha plus 1 by minus alpha plus 1 that is 1 by 1 minus alpha into y power alpha minus 1 is equal to t plus c. To evaluate c we use the initial condition that is when t is equal to 0 the y is y naught. So, substitute t is equal to 0 and y is equal to y naught in this, we will get c is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1. So, that is the, that is the result and we, we take that c value and put it in the solution put it in the solution. So, we are getting now a particular solution 1 by 1 minus alpha 
into y to the power of alpha minus 1 in the denominator is equal to t plus 1 by 1 minus alpha into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1. Now, send this 1 minus 1 minus alpha in the denominator to the right hand side. We will get 1 by y power alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 minus alpha times t plus 1 by 1 minus alpha into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1. It is given, it is given alpha greater than 1. Therefore, it is better if you have alpha minus 1 instead of 1 minus alpha. So, to get that one, what I will do is um, multiply by minus 1 here and multiply by minus 1 inside. So, then it will be compensated. It will be, that will be equal to alpha minus 1 and when it is multiplied inside minus t and minus of 1 by 1 minus alpha into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1 and minus of 1 minus alpha will be plus 1 by alpha plus alpha minus 1 into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1. This we have made it because alpha greater than 1 thereby alpha minus 1 will be positive. Agreed. So now revert it. So take the reversion. So that means uh, invert it. So that is 1 by y to the power of alpha minus 1 is there. So we will get y to the power of alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 by this value. So this value we have written. So that is the y power alpha minus 1 and we want y that will be the solution. Therefore, to get y take the right hand side and to the power of 1 by alpha minus 1. So, the solution y of t is equal to 1 by the whole thing to the power of 1 by, 1 by alpha minus 1. So, this we will write it as this this quantity, this, this term we write it as capital T. So, that will be equal to y of t is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1 into capital T minus t to the power of 1 by alpha minus 1, where capital T is 1 by alpha minus 1 into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1. Here, alpha minus 1 greater than 0, y naught is greater than 0. So, the whole thing is greater than 0, capital T is greater than 0. So, look here, y of t, the solution exists for all t greater than 0 except capital T. Capital T is greater than 0. At that at, at that capital T, y of t is, is undefined. So, it shows the solution y of t does not exist at t is equal to capital T greater than 0. That means, uh, this solution is not existing for all values t greater than 0. Therefore, it is not a global solution. So, hence, uh, star has no global solution. So, let us look at the options there, options there. Option 1 says both star and double star have global solutions which is not true and option 3 says there exists a global solution for star that is also not true. So, the, thus the options 1 and 3 are not true. Further, there exists a capital T is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1 into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1 y naught is positive and uh, finite, alpha minus 1 is finite and the whole thing is finite, t is finite and limit uh, therefore t is finite means it is less than infinity such that limit t tends to t of uh, mod y t, so mod y t is written here and uh, t, capital T minus t is sitting in the denominator therefore the limit uh, tends to plus infinity. So, this part is there, limit t tends to capital T of mod y t is plus infinity is there in the option 4, option 4. So, use this result in the option 4 if necessary in the subsequent discussion. You will also note, if there exists a global solution for double star, then the option 4 is true because the second part we have already shown here. Otherwise, that means if the global solution does not exist, then the option 2 is true. So, what we have 
what we have to do we know now let's get into it let's take the second double star dz by dt is equal to minus z power alpha for t greater than 0 z at 0 is equal to z naught if you see carefully the given equation star and double star the difference is y is to be replaced by z it's only a variable and z power alpha is y power alpha there is now here written replaced by minus z power alpha so for, for all practical purposes that that differential equation this differential equation differ by a minus on the right hand side that is the coefficient of z to the power of alpha there it was plus it is minus here so for star we have the solution y to the power of alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1 into 1 by alpha minus 1 into y naught to the power of alpha minus 1 minus t and take this double star and uh, if you solve it you will get y z to the power of alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1 into 1 by alpha minus 1 into z naught to the power of alpha minus 1 minus t is to be replaced by plus t so this minus will affect at t at t so there is there is minus t and this is plus t so if you can observe this that will be easier if you are not following i will show you how it is and that is your first differential equation this is your second differential equation and uh, you are separating the variables and integrating and you are getting the, the, the this answer here this answer here and note down here it is plus and here it is minus and uh, we'll get the c value and uh, minus integral dt has become minus t here it is plus t wherever there is t you have to write minus t that's that's all and your initial condition using the initial condition you will get uh, the c value is uh, almost same except for the variables and uh, t is replaced by minus t and uh, equal and uh, at the end you will get y power alpha minus 1 here it is minus t in this case it is plus t so that's the reason that's the reason so now let's get back so that's your second differential equation and you are solving and solving double star we get z to the power of alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1 into 1 by alpha minus 1 into z naught to the power of alpha minus 1 plus t then the solution z of t is equal to this whole thing to the power of 1 by alpha minus 1 this we have written as 1 by alpha minus 1 into t minus capital s capital s is this capital minus capital s is this minus capital s is this to the power of 1 by alpha minus 1 where s is equal to minus 1 by alpha minus 1 into z naught to the power of alpha minus 1 which is negative why alpha minus 1 is positive z naught is positive this whole thing is positive there is a negative sign therefore it's less than 0 so s is less than 0 and for all t greater than 0 z of t exists z of t exists because s is negative s is negative so the solution z of t is not existing at this s yes, but this s is negative so for all t greater than 0 z of t exists that means uh, this is a, a global solution so it shows the solution z of t exists for all t greater than 0 so hence uh, double star has a global solution and look back the options and we have already told you that uh, if it has a global solution 4 will be the answer because the second part you have already seen and this and uh, the option 2 is is not true because because it does not exist it says so thus the option 2 is not true and the option 4 is true our final answer is option 4 so that is the discussion of the solution of this problem on 
global solutions for a given two differential equations. I am sure you have understood the solution of this problem and it is an interesting problem. I wish you all the best. Thank you.